Hi there, my name is Chrissy. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to continue on with Raised by Wolves. So the last time on Raised by Wolves, uh, after being strung up uh, by Marcus, uh, Mother managed to escape. Uh, it seems there is still a, a flicker of the old father um, inside of him that still remembers, but he isn't quite all the way there yet. Uh, Mother also knows that Marcus is lying about who he is. She knows that he's an atheist. Uh, and when she tried to let uh, another member of uh, the Mithraic group know, obviously they didn't believe her. The voice Marcus has been hearing um, has been telling him to, you know, let her live, let her live, and you shall be king of the world. And it's led Marcus to believe that he is the child spoken of in the prophecy, not Campion or Paul, as we were uh, previously led to believe. But it's the same voice, I'm pretty sure, that is telling, like, Campion to kill himself for some reason. So, to put it simply, uh, Mother has escaped. Marcus is falling deeper and deeper into this hole that is soul, um, and his wife is hating it. So we're just going to carry on and get on with the next episode of Raised by Wolves. Let's do it. I know who I am. Oh, dude. Yes. It's like the inside of him is fighting, you know, there's a part of him that wants to be who he used to be, Caleb. Dude, this is gross. Why? 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 He's trying to rip, obviously he's trying to rip his face off because you know. Oh my god, this can't be real. This cannot be real. How do we? How is this the first thing that you see in this episode? Yeah, I didn't think it was real, but it was fucking disgusting nonetheless. <laughs> He's got two sides of him fighting. The part of him that's the atheist, Caleb, and the part of him that is Marcus, that is hearing this voice. Who's gonna win out? When you're there alone, this was all had to punish me. Do you know I'm actually thankful? Because it means he loves me. If he sees us doing something naughty. Excuse me, don't be fragile. You're pretty fragile, too. I gotta teach you to be a survivor. Wow. He is messed up. Though I guess as an um, atheist, he had the same mentality because they had to be survivors. So once again, it's both sides, you know, that are on their worst days as bad as each other. Diagnostics all look good. There's a weird glitch in your tech. Wait. Is that code or something? It is. It's Morse code. You are old. Light. So is the light. For a minute there, I thought you were still in there for cops. Was he disappointed in there? That looked like a disappointed face, but why would he be disappointed? I mean, this is all because, you know, he gave away father's position. Has the ark landed yet? In a manner of speaking, yes. My blood levels are dropping. What she are you doing? Doing a transfusion. I'm a doctor, not a blood bag. Today you are both. You're an A-class life technician, correct? Your wounds are bleeding internally, draining into your stomach. You need to release the pressure. There's more to come that we haven't even seen yet. Maybe we could check it out. Could we bring Campion? Mm. Yes, why not? Is Dad going to come on the adventure? Do you want him to? Could we go without him? <gasps> mm -hmm. Yeah, we could. Is the discomfort in your abdomen subsiding? No. I'm feeling something that is not in my anatomical built description. No what way. Is it? I don't know, Carl. You're the doctor. No. Can you get a look at it? It's so handy, isn't it? Spherical. 3.4 inches in diameter. Probably a sleeping tube. It moves. That's unusual. No. 
It's reacting to my touch. Perhaps the tumor no way. To, to alleviate the discomfort is to feed the tumor field blood. Then it will cease to feed on you. This will temporarily help you regain your strength, but it will also accelerate the tumor's growth and your inevitable breakdown. I don't know about this, Caleb. It's Marcus from now on. Remember it, Marcus, and your suit. Jesus Christ. Oh, Tempest! I completely forgot about Tempest! What you doing, buddy? I told you to stay away. God, he's I got the crazy that. eyes. I just... Now, you and Mommy planning something. You would never lie to me, would you? Never. Mom! Why are you calling your mom? Get the hell away from him! Mom, while we're leaving. Mom, I'll help him. Fuck's sake. I told you we're not going anywhere. Fuck. Forgive my wife. She has lost her way. Tempest was right to run away from here. Yep. I can barely hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Are you all right? I have an idea for something you can make, but you're not gonna like it. It's gonna use the bones. Wow, you went all Wolverine. <laughs> Clever. I need you to show me. Show me that I am not crazy. So you're going to take this as a sign. Yep. Get mama. Where are you going? I'll take mama and we can't be to the ladder. Please don't tell anyone. I won't. For as long as you take us with you. Fine! Mom. They discovered were encrypted in their scriptures with no real understanding of the underlying concepts. That's interesting. I need more donors. Wow. It's almost like she has um, cravings, you know, pregnancy cravings. It's not going to work though. If she tears into that thing and starts eating it, I'm going to be highly disturbed. Sorry. Oh, disturbed. <laughs> Look at that. That's amazing work from her. Oh, shit. Going into hibernation mode while the baby grows, she's fucking pregnant. Oh, come on. No, 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 come on. No, What's no. What's the matter? He's locked it down. Okay, everyone out. Just make a run for it, Jesus. Oh, Tempest. Mother. Oh, God, please don't hurt Mother. Tempest. That Campion? Campion! This way. Be 
begin simulation. See? I told you I could give you anything. A child will always be a part of you. A child that will never reject you. No. Never tell you that you're not real. No. I don't want it. Champion and all the others were just a rehearsal. It was all to prepare you for this. No. The future of humanity is growing inside you. Jesus. So that was episode 8 of uh, Race by Wolves. How the hell does an android in a simulation make a baby? How is that possible? <laughs> and what is it? Is it human? Is it... I mean it must be if it was like taking in blood. How is this possible? What does that mean? I mean, Campion sent her on this mission. Was that really what he intended? Or is the uh, the the being, the Campion inside of the simulation, the same kind of thing that Marcus is seeing and that uh, Campion, yeah, young Campion is seeing? Is this the planet fucking with her? I am, this whole thing just has me so confused, as every episode in this series has me confused. Uh, Marcus has finally lost the plot, he is like fully into soul now, and I'm so glad that uh, Sue slash Mary has seen the light, so to speak, and has taken uh, Paul and left. I really thought that Paul would kind of need a bit more uh, nudging because he seems so devoted uh, and I'm sure he still is devoted to Sol but he knows that something is up with his dad and he was quite happy to leave and I'm glad that Campion uh, has joined them now Father why is he doing Morse code? what is the, the purpose behind it? and if it isn't to get a message out I had a message said why is he doing it? why is it saying you know, Sol is the light? side note incredibly sad about the flashback that they had the atheist child suicide bomber also the technology for the necromancers came from old scriptures that were left behind and found by what is now the Mithraic you know, covenant that's a new piece of information that we didn't have before Everyone knows the uh, conspiracy theory that aliens, you know, seeded the earth. Uh, is that what they're going for here? They left behind, you know, instructions on how to make these things? And I don't know. I mean, it, there are so many possibilities and a lot of them sound so ridiculous. But as ridiculous as they are, they could be true. We've only got two more episodes to go, so I'm really hoping that we get some definitive answers soon because... You know, I barely have any hair left to pull out so well that's going to be it for this episode thanks for watching with me don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time for more Raised by Wolves bye <laughs>